Hey guys, just got, um, just had a nice solve, so I thought I would use it as an example solve as far as like planning and inspecting goes. Um, because it was nice, pretty easy, but I still planned EOCross plus first pair, so I thought I would just record something showing off the scramble and the solution and stuff and the thought process of the inspection. So the scramble should be in the description, but it's F prime. R2, F, L2, F prime, R2, B2, U2, F prime, U2, oop, B, U prime, B, D2, L, R, B2, L2, and U. So I did an X2 rotation, and I see I have one, two, three, and four bad edges, one on the back, one here, and two on the front. So we can bring these two back edges to the front in a couple of different ways. We could do L U prime or U prime L two. Um, but something I noticed is that this green edge is here, and the orange edge is on the back of the R or the red face, opposite color. So I can do instead of just placing these and doing EO. We, we, what I can do is a U move. So what this does is it first hides um, this bad edge into the back, and then I can do L2 to place this blue white edge opposite the green white edge. And also it brings this bad edge from the back face now onto the front. And then I can do U2. Um, and now all the bad edges are on the front, so we can do an F or F prime to make them good edges. Because orange is back here, we want to do F, and then we can do D prime. Um, so then we can do LR and place the um, cross edges. And you'll notice this is opposite. And so something a lot of people do if they have the opposite cross, like the U D2 away, is they'll just do D2. But in my opinion, that's a mistake for look ahead. Um, and I'll show you why. So let me, um, undo this. So at this point we've done the F. So let's say, let's undo and just get to the point where we have the line and EO solved. Um, we can, I already see like an inspection that when we do D prime LR, it would place the, um, all the edges would be a D2 away from being solved. And so when that happens, I like to, especially with ZZ, do a U wide two instead of, um, a D2 because it make, puts whatever edge is in the front right slot into the back left slot, which is if you like your ID dominant peaking right solver, the back left is going to be your blind spot. So if you can track what goes into the front right spot and then do a wide U2 instead, you'll automatically know what's in this back slot and it won't be a look ahead problem. So we see D prime and then R is going to put this blue orange edge on t into the front and then the um, blue orange corner is here when we do the wide u2 blue orange is going to be this back right slot so i see when we solve the cross um, and then do the wide u2 the blue orange edge would be in this back left slot and this corner is just going to move and be oriented here so then I know after I do my EO cross solution, it's just going to be a um, U prime, uh, L R prime, U two R L prime, which is pretty easy. So now, as you can see, this does end up here, U two or wide U two. Oh, sorry, I forgot <laughs> it goes here, not there. It, what, it goes there and then it rotates. I forgot to say that. Anyways, so then we do U and then insert the parent to the back. So yeah, that's the pretty nice, easy case 
um, of planning cross plus one with a cool trick of if you have your cross a d2 away, track what goes to fr and do a wide d2 so you know what's in your back slot.